mentioned it a few times, the difference between coaching and instructing. <laughs> will you yeah. will you discuss that a little bit? Because obviously everyone kind of grew up with having instructors, not coaches. Of course. Yeah. Um, and I think a lot of people, I think even the British Horse Society, I was talking, I was working in Florida yesterday and one of the people uh, that lives down there are English and they have got the British Horse Society exams like I have. And uh, we were British Horse Society instructors, but they've changed the name. It's now coaching because instructor um, really means giving instructions as opposed to looking what's in front of me, assessing what's in front of me, both the rider and the horse, and the pair together, and then choosing something that we have to work on. And the use of questioning to find out how long they've been riding. Um, is their body intact? Meaning, are they, are they fit to ride? Maybe they've got a bad back or a bad hip or a bad knee. So all of these things have to be part of your equation as to how you approach that coaching or helping them to get better. Whereas before that was never taken into, just keep going. Mm. And that was the way. And, and certain people thrived on that, but certain people fall by the wayside. And those certain people could be the best riders. If we are good at our, our assessment of what's in front of us, our choices of what we're going to do with those people that they're capable of, that we can achieve in that moment, that they can go away with, oh, I really achieved that, and come back again, and we add the next layer. But we're not making them a Grand Prix rider in 45 minutes. Mm. 